Hey guys, it's Karen and I've got a very exciting review today of these two. It is Spray Nail Polish by Nails Inc. And I had a request to review this. And funny enough, I read the request while I was in the car on my mobile phone and I was actually in the middle of trying to order it, trying to pre-order it on the Nails Inc. website. And it was getting too tricky, so I thought I'll wait till I get home. But when I got home, it was then out of stock. So I signed up for the stock alerts and got one but then by the time I got back in it was out of stock again so on Monday this week I was in Edinburgh I had a spa day with my friend and I thought well while I'm here I was actually waiting for Kev to come and pick me up I will go into Harvey Nichols and see if they've got it because they've got a nails in bar in there and they did I was really surprised I wasn't expecting them to so I was delighted so I bought both colors there's only two colors available there's a silver and a kind of pink color I've got them both on you can see that one's chipped I only put these on yesterday and I've done the kind of full testing on them uh, by which I mean, I've tried it with their base coat because the woman convinced me to buy this, you know, because it's been tested with this. And I thought, you know what, it'll be good to let you guys know if I think you need this or not. Um, I've tried it with this base coat, with two of my own base coats, with no base coat, and I've tried it on top of nail polish. So, like I said, this is the first impressions in that I used it yesterday, but I kind of spent all afternoon doing it <laughs> because I had to keep because the things that didn't work, I didn't have to wash it off and wait for it to dry and all of that and try again. Um, and I wanted to try it at different lengths and just try everything I could. The one thing I can't tell you is how long it would last other than you can see there's some chip in there. So I'll tell you which ones I've got the top coat on and which ones I haven't as we go along. I haven't got a spreadsheet, I've got notes. <laughs> I made all these notes yesterday because I didn't have really time to do a spreadsheet. There's a lot of stuff to tell you, so I'm gonna read you what it says on the website and tell you why I was a attracted to it and what the kind of catch is if you like and how it's worked for me so it says say hello to the paint can a revolutionary new product that sprays on nail polish and it's the first of its kind the new technique applies polish evenly and efficiently in seconds with only the additional application of a base coat paint can promise you the world's fastest manicure choose from two punchy colors for winter pigments that cannot be replicated with regular polish so as I normally do, as I'm going through the claims, I'll tell you whether I found it to be true or not. Um, and the, it's saying that pigments that cannot be re replicated with normal nail polish, I don't understand that because this is just a silver, although these two look completely different actually. Let me see if I can get it to focus. I need to cover my face in order for it to focus. Can you see? That one looks more kind of glittery than that one, but they're both the same polish. They've both got a no top coat on, um, so I'm not sure why they look different. But, um, they're definitely colours that I have got in my nail polish collection. The pink is is not a colour I've seen before, but it's not a colour I would choose. Um, so I'm pretty sure you could replicate that colour. I'm not really sure what that means. They're not, there's nothing super unique about the colour, I don't feel. Um, but that's up to you, I guess. You might be able to tell the subtle differences. It, says, it has been designed for those time poor nail fans who are on the go. Simply spray onto the fingertips and the polish adheres to the base coat. To remove the excess polish, quickly wash away from the skin with water or cleansing wipes. And voila, perfectly applied polish in a heartbeat. Apply a top coat for endured wear and a glossy finish. So that's the bit that I read that appealed to me. But that, being the cynical person I am, I was like, what's the catch? I'm sure it's not that simple. Um, and then in my head, I was like, it will maybe say, if you don't apply a top coat, it will only last for an hour or something like that, you know. Um, but the catch is that it says here, the polish adheres to the base coat to remove the excess polish, quickly wash away from the skin with water or cleansing wipes. You can't click quickly wash away, you have to wait for it to dry. And the only place it says that is on the back of this can. Even it's now got how to apply on the website. Um, and I'll read through that in a moment, but it doesn't even on there say, wait for it to dry. Um, but when you read the back of this, it says, wait for it to dry. I've tried without waiting for it to dry and waiting just one minute and it washes the paint, washes the nail polish off your nails as well. So you need to wait. I worked it out about two minutes before you wash your hands in order for it to adhere. So in my mind, you could put nail polish on 10 nails. Some people could in two minutes. It depends how dexterous you are. Um, I've seen people putting nail polish off. There was a woman um, at work that used to do it in the morning and she put nail polish on super quickly. And the other thing is that once you've sprayed it on your hands, it kind of covers your fingertips. So you can't really do anything whilst waiting for it to dry because it does transfer onto things. Um, so the fact that it says that it's 
you quickly wash away it makes it sound like you could just spray it and wash your hands and go and it isn't quite that simple so I'll talk more about it going through um, the how to apply part how to apply step one it says this part is essential you must apply a base coat we suggest the nails ink two-in-one base coat base and top coat and allow to dry I have tried it with my own base coat um, with two different types of base coat with no base coat with this base coat the nails ink one and with normal nail polish because it says that you don't have to put a base coat on if you've just already got your nails painted and you want to change your nail polish you can simply spray this on top it doesn't work without a base coat on your nails if you've got clean nails with nothing on them at all this won't adhere to it so i tried that but as soon as you wash your hands it washes away so it does need nail polish whether it's old nail polish top coat anything as long as it's nail polish on your nails this will adhere to it but with the base coat you do have to wait for it to dry again i tried to spray it on top of it whilst it was still wet and it doesn't take long to dry anyway does it but it just kind of went lumpy so you need to put a base coat on or you need to have nail polish on your nails and it needs to be dry it says or apply the paint can over your nail polish for a speedy color change step two shake the paint can and from a distance of 10 to 15 centimeters so about here um, spray the polish directly onto the nail area cover and protect the surface you are spraying onto so for this step what I would say is really pay attention to that cover and protect the surface you are spraying onto I started off with the Shoreditch Lane one which is this silver color you see mostly on this one here and I just put a piece of kitchen roll put my hands over and sprayed and it went everywhere it's covering that notebook that I've got back there it is all over my iPad that was sitting nearby and I could see glitter particles in the air it was just everywhere not only that but it actually went through the kitchen roll onto my vanity desk um, and I had oh, that wasn't very good so I went and got an old towel and I think that's probably the best way of doing it is use a really big old towel and I've since washed that towel and it has come out I wanted to test that so I could tell you and it came out no problem the second way I did it though which worked as well was to do it in the sink so just put your hands in the sink and spray and it easily washes away from the sink um, so that was step number two. Oh, it also says from a distance of 10 to 15 centimeters I would say that if you want to get a really good um, depth of pigment to spray it closer because 10 centimeters is about here and I found that it was best to do it about here about maybe five to six centimeters even closer um, you don't want to be too close otherwise it will look uneven but to get a nice evenness and a good pigment I would say a little bit closer than the 10 centimeters certainly not 15 centimeters the other thing is it's going to take you a lot more polish if you do it at the 10 to 15 centimeters because it only lightly coats it um, and like so you don't get that really thick pigment that you need really with this especially with the pink one on here on the how to apply it says step three for a longer lasting mani apply a top coat and allow to dry step four with warm soapy water wash away any excess paint can from skin and cuticles or use a cleansing wipe when on the go it doesn't say there to wait for the paint to dry on your nails and you definitely need to wait for it to dry I can't remember if I've already told you this because this video has been interrupted a few times but you need to wait for it to dry and you need to wait I worked it out to be about two minutes if you wait less than that the nail polish will wash off your nails and this is without a top coat so like I said I've tried it in every which way and without you can wear it without a top coat no problem and in fact the ones on my right hand don't have a top coat the ones on my left do and the ones on my left have chipped more with the top coat than the ones on my right um, but like I said you do need to wait for the spray to dry and that's kind of a problem because you've got then nail polish all over your fingertips as well um, and it means you can't touch anything because the color does transfer so, so I think I did say that didn't I because I said if you can you can get your polish done in two minutes some people can um, and you have to wait that two minutes before you can wash the polish off for me it wasn't much faster but what it was good for is if you are not very good at getting your nail polish even if you find there's lots of ridges in it or you know you have to keep you, you keep applying it because it doesn't look even then this is a great um product because no, and nothing to do with the speed it's just it does look even you can't really make a mistake with it because you're not having to paint and the other thing I thought is if you have any problems with dexterity so for people that have got Parkinson's or MS or like me I've got arthritis in my hands so I, I do find it difficult to hold my hand steady and particularly if I'm trying to put my elbow down I've got a sore elbow and it's just 
it's easier it's definitely easier and I feel like they've marketed it as faster and it's it is a little bit faster the actual process of painting your nails with this is faster but not when you count the fact that you've got to hold your hands up it's like having a fake tan on you can't touch anything and you have to wait for it to dry etc so I hope that makes sense um, with warm soapy water wash away any excess paint can from the skin and cuticles like I said you do need to wait the two minutes to do that or use a cleansing wipe I tried it with a cleansing wipe and it is not that easy to get off warm soapy water I needed to use I actually used a face brush I didn't want to use a nail brush because it would be too hard and I didn't want to get it off my nails so I used a face brush but I do think a soft nail brush is probably the best thing to get it off with when I if I just washed my hands normally like this a lot of it will come off actually what I will try and do a demo for you but I'm just not sure I'll try and do that before puppy comes back because puppy's going to be here and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on but if I just wash my hands normally like that most of it would come off but there was still some left on my fingers and also some around the edges of the nails I found so I, I did sort of use my nails to get the bits around the edge off and they came off easily enough but I did have to use a little brush to get the, the rest of it off to completely get it off I tried it with a wipe and that just seemed to wipe it away that just wasn't good for me so to me it won't come off with the wipe okay you guys so I thought I'd give you a little demo because this is what my nails look like now how can I get them to you sorry I know it's quite dark but um hopefully you'll be able to see enough yeah that just focused on my nails didn't it so what I'm going to do is use the Shoreditch Lane this one and I'm just going to put it on top of what I've already got on I am going to take my engagement ring off because I'm not I don't really want to get it on there I kept my wedding ring on yesterday when I did it so I just want to see if it will fill in that gap that chip on that nail and shake it and then spray so did you see that that's one spray and I don't know whether you can see there is glitter particles absolutely everywhere now that's done a pretty good coating but just see at the side there I don't know whether you'll be able to see it but there's a little bit of a gap of where the pink is still showing so I'm gonna just put my uh, my hands this way and do another light spray well maybe it's not a light spray so that's what it looks like so I'm going to wait two minutes and then I'll wash it off and show you how easy it is to wash off something I should have said in um the video when I was reviewing it is that it's actually quite it does catch in your throat and all these glitter particles in the air I don't like that I have to say that does put me off but normally I would sp I'll spray it on and leave the room and I would suggest suggest you do that and it is quite a strong you know it's a spray it's an aerosol so it does catch in your throat so if you've got any asthma problems it's something to be aware of can you see on my top and I've not sprayed on my top I've been spraying it like this but I've got sparkles all over my black top everywhere which you know is okay I like a bit of sparkle but it's also all over my camera so I've got my soap in the sink I'm going to just turn the tap on and Get the right temperature I don't want to burn my hands and I use two things I use this soap and glory face brush which I actually use this side to clean my brushes sometimes but this is a soft side and then for stubborn bits I just use this this is a nail brush that you get from Sally's but I'm just gonna well that's too hot I'm just gonna wash my hands with normal soap first and show you how much comes off when you wash it just as you normally would and something interesting is happening there actually so what's happened there which is really interesting as you can see that most of it's come off my my hands but it's also come off in the bits where there was a chip so there was a chip in the end of that finger and there was a chip there as well and it's actually come off sorry my thumb and it's actually not adhered to where those chips were but do you see that see on this finger here hopefully you can see that it's all around my cuticles but you can just with your finger kind of get that off or you can do what I do and use this little brush and just kind of go over your fingers and it doesn't take actually I'm saying that it has taken a little bit off by my cuticle and you can now see the red underneath it but maybe because I should have waited timed it and waited the full two minutes it was maybe a little bit under two minutes so yeah that's not going to be the perfect manicure because of that chip there so I will have to redo this but hopefully that gives you an idea of what it's like to see there on that one as well on that little finger I'd have to kind of use my finger to take it off right in the cuticle 
Okay guys, so I just had a quick break in filming there because my battery ran out and I've got no spare battery, which is unlike me. So I've actually changed cameras. So if it looks a little bit different, it's because I've changed and I'm using the camera I use for photos, not filming. Um, so I can't remember where I was, was to be honest, but I think I got, I'd read everything on the website and told you, I've told you the price, didn't I? 10 pounds each of these and eight pounds for the polish. That's 28 pounds for the total. Um, and I've told you what I think about their claims and I'll tell you all the things I've got listed down on my notes just now, what I think kind of works for me and doesn't work for me. But the first thing I would say is I don't like this pink colour. I, it's just not me. I think it's a pretty colour and actually when I showed it on Periscope yesterday, um, somebody was saying that they liked the colour but it's just not the colour for me but I do really like the silver colour I think it's really pretty I think it's really odd that those two look different but I really like that one and I've got really short nails at the moment so they don't look the best but let me go through these notes and see what else there is to tell you. I want to hear that you get cold fingers. When you spray this it does make your fingers really icy cold. I don't know if that's something that would bother anybody but I had to kind of leave a moment between sprays because it was making my fingers too cold. And I think that's because I was too close to them. If you're farther away, you won't feel that, that way. Um, but you need to wait two minutes for it to dry, for the base coat to dry and for the top coat to dry if you're using a top coat. So I think I told you that I've used a top coat on this hand and I used a top coat on this finger only just because I didn't like the way the pink looked without a top coat. But on these three fingers here and also my thumb, I did not use a top coat. And hopefully you can see that actually there's chips on this, quite a big chip. There's a big chip on that thumb. And on the silver one, there is a lot of tip wear. Um, whereas there's also a lot of tip wear on that thumb, but that's because I was using it to get bits off the edge. On the three that don't, the three silver ones that don't have a top coat on, they've actually lasted a lot better. The only thing I'm realizing is I don't know whether that's a color specific thing or whether it is because I've got a top coat on. The top coat definitely makes it glossier, but clearly it hasn't made it last any longer. Um, but I don't like that pink color anyway. I feel, feel like that was more difficult to apply. The silver one just seemed to go on and look beautiful immediately. Colors, I hope that they come out with more colors. If they come out with a gold or I don't know, some other color, then I, I think I will probably purchase more. At the moment, I won't keep this one. I'll give this to somebody. I won't put this in any kind of sale just because it's difficult to send nail polish through the post. Um, but this Shoreditch Lane one, I think is one I will use because I like the novelty of it. Whether or not after using it a few times, I feel like it's doing anything for me, you know, giving me any benefit enough that I don't mind standing there with my hands with silver all over them, I don't know. So I've everything off my notes. Um, this hand looks fine at the moment. And like I said, I only put it on yesterday, so I don't know how long that will last, except the thumb doesn't look great, but that I was using that as a tool. But these four look okay. Um, I think what I'll do now is take this all off and put, in fact, I might not even take it off because I'm going to show, do a little demo for you, in which case I'll just spray the silver over the top of the pink and you can see how it covers it up because that's what I did with that one. That is silver over the top of the pink. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if it fills in the gaps where there is that little chipping. Um, and I'll, I'll spray the silver on, put a top coat on and see how long it lasts then with just the silver. Um, and then, yeah, I'll put it to the side because I'm going to put some nail extensions on and then see if it appeals to me again, if you see what I mean, before I decide if I'm gonna buy any more colors, because I'm pretty sure they'll come out with new colors. It's an interesting color mix that they've got. Um, I think they look nice with that kind of accent nail if you want to buy them both, but if I had to recommend one, it would be the silver one, and it's called Shoreditch Lane, and I wouldn't recommend getting the, the base and top coat. I would say just go for this, and that's 10 pound, and that's not too bad then, is it? It's useful to you. If you have tried this already, then please let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'd love to know if you're the same as me and think that it doesn't save you much time, but it is easier to apply than applying nail polish, that kind of thing. Um, and I'll give you a rundown of what I've got on my face. I've got on the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Block Foundation. Um, and I've got on the Vizart palette. It's something Paris is the palette, but I can't remember the full name, but it's Paris something. Um, and I've got on the Fleur de Force lashes, the three quarter ones. On my cheeks, I've got the MAC blush in Melba. And on my lips, I've got my Maybelline Colorstay lipstick in 615 taupe. And that's everything. So thanks very much for watching. Actually, let me just tell you my earrings because I do get asked about those, even though you can't see them very much. These are from River Island. I love the fact that they're just pull through earrings, but they look like they should be ones that, that have a, a back. You know, the necklace is 
River Island as well, I think. Yeah, River Island. And in fact, I saw it in there the other day. So that's everything. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.